Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day. And today is Tuesday the 10th, and today was a lovely day. We had some sunshine, we had some rain, we had some sunshine, we had some really hard rain. A lot, little bit of fog here and there, but overall it wasn't a bad day at all. Um, got up this morning um, way too early again. Just My internal clock is getting me up way earlier than I need to be, but it is what it is. So it's one of those things I kind of started getting up early with Karen and that, and then now my body doesn't revert back to sleeping in worth a damn. So plus the different bed and the whole thing and whatnot, I don't don't get that great of sleep. So if I sleep way too long, um, I end up waking up more sore than I would be if I just got up and did some stuff. So we got up, got around a little bit, we got a bowl of cereal. Watched a little bit of Netflix stuff, kind of waiting for the day to get started. It was raining like hell when I first woke up this morning. And then it kind of cooled off, or it's kind of cleared out a little bit. And um, I actually had put on this long shirt, leave shirt. We we're going to take off with the fact of um, going out for the day. And we headed out, and when we took off, the sun came out. We're like, this isn't going to work. So I went back in, changed out. Um, we had to do some laundry. We were getting low on warmer clothes because it's supposed to be a lot colder up here, we thought. So we had planned on bringing more cold weather clothes. And it's just been wet and rainy, not cold, which is strange. So we took off, um, basically headed down, um, went just kind of running around doing just general, I guess, touristy stuff. We went down to the um, record shop. So we drove over to the place that has like, there's two record shops in Boone. Um, we got to the one that didn't open until noon. We got there like 10 o'clock, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we headed over, went headed around some antique shops and just kind of went around. Um, Richard decided to go back and tried and find the other record shop, which the second one he got there, and that gentleman who owned it had passed away and they've already liquidated all this stuff. It's a new shop in the location. So that was a bust. Came back, kind of hung around a little bit. Um, it was just walking around Boone, not much to do there. It's, it's more of a, I don't know, different shopping than what we're after kind of things. We hung out there, waited till a little bit after noon. The shop never opened. Um, Richard tried to call the place and it seemed like the number he had to the guy, which I think he thought was his own personal number, was just to the shop. So it is what it is. Um, we gave up on that, headed back. Um, swung by the cabin, got um, let Barbara know he's back and we was going to go out and do some run around. We basically went down to Blowing Rock, looked around that stuff, did some shopping, hit a couple little shops that um, um, little ice cream place they go to there called Kills something. Killwin. Kill um, they have to eat ice cream all the time there and stuff. It's like everybody loves. Karen's mom used to go there like virtually, I think every day when she was up here to get a chunk of ice cream just because why not? You know, ice cream's ice cream. So it was midday. I, was, I wasn't really feeling ice cream things. So um, Richard Barber got their ice cream. Karen got hers and I had a couple bites of hers just because I wasn't really feeling ice cream bill day for a reason. I just, some days I'm like all about ice cream, like I'll knock the hell out of it. Other days I have no interest in it and today was one of those days. So we'll be back there again before the trip's over, I'm sure, and I'll probably have some then. Wasn't feeling it today. Um, we then went around some shops, went to the hat shop, um, didn't find anything that really was my taste for the price I wanted to spend. There was a couple hats I didn't mind, they were like 65 bucks, so not really a $65 hat kind of guy because I'm a little hard on my hats. I don't baby them and take care of a hat that's $65 value. It's more like a $15 value hat guy is who I am. So it's one of those things I need to, you know, if I ever bought like a really nice good hat, I'd have to like not wear it that often. That kind of defeats the purpose of my hats. So went around found some really cool little stuff, some really great ideas. There's a um, really just this really amazing artistically type store to go to. What was the name of the one with the jewelry? Diago. The Diago? Iago. Iago. Um, amazing, like gorgeous stuff. Um, beautiful work. Just really, really cool things. Barbara got a really neat little wind chime there with some glass beads and stuff on it. It's a pretty cool piece. Went around, just had a good time. And then it started raining and we headed back to the car. And it was one of those things where we were just kind of walking back to the car. And I wanted to um, go, I would kind of wandered off my own. And then Karen had the umbrella and Barbara and her dad didn't want to use the umbrella. So she looked like the asshole who's walking behind the people with the umbrella not sharing. It was kind of funny. So she felt like a little bit odd there because she's like walking the umbrella and they're not. It was kind of funny. We had a good joke about that one. Got back here. Um, Everybody got kind of tired and stuff. They were kind of wore out for the day. They don't realize how much the mountain air kicks their butt, the lack of oxygen up here. So went ahead, um, headed back to the cabin. Um, um, I think Barbara went to a nap. Richard took a nap. Karen and I decided to go for a run in the rain. So we're in the cold rain. It's like 60s. You know, temperature in like the high 60s, anything like that, which wasn't that big a deal. But I told Karen, if you're going to go for a run, we have to go up the hill. We're going up the mountain because if you get running down the mountain and you get tired, you'll never make it back to the cabin. So we headed out. Her plan was to run up the hill and she made it almost a tenth of a mile and <laughs> the oxygen lack of kicked her ass. So she's like, let's just, well, I told her, let's just walk it out. So we walked up over a mile up the hill 
beautiful scenery. Um, just that light drizzle. It wasn't really hard rain, so it wasn't too bad. But got to see some really cool stuff. You see things differently when you're walking than when you're running because you can really focus on your steps and your pace and your breathing. You can just look around at things. Got some gorgeous overlooks, some little valleys and stuff. Great little look there. Turn around and then we ran back down. She ran all the way back down except for one little like, uphill that she walked. So she ran well over a mile a day between the first start and that little hill coming back that she walked on. So super proud of her and the fact that she went out in the rain with, you know, it's just awesome. I was really, really super cool about that. We got back here to the place. We got our showers, got cleaned up, waited for a barber to get ready. Then we headed out to dinner, went to Troy's Cafe, um, the little place to go to all the time also. We got there and it's like a different menu, maybe even different owners. I kind of couldn't tell if they were there because when they'd been there before, it was kind of a different feel to them. Um, hung out there, ran by Walgreens and whatnot, picked up some rest for a prescription. They had shorter on, didn't tell her, which was kind of odd. But when we got that done, headed back to the cabin and then kind of chilled out a little while. I decided to go have a cigar down by the water, which was great. Um, Karen came out here doing, uh, waiting for the laundry to dry. Came down with me and we weren't there very long and it started misting. And I told her, I said, it's starting to sprinkle. And I said, we've been to get back to the cabin. It's going to rain hard because it seems like it comes in. You just get a feeling once it's going to rain. And I had that feeling it's going to rain hard. And we made it off the pier and it started raining hard. So here we are heading all the way back up to the cabin, which isn't that far. It's, I don't know. I don't know, not very far at all, maybe 400 yards, 300 yards like that. And we were like so wet. And I'm like, hurry, 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 just like trying to get yourself. And I'm using the flashlight because all the silver lights on the steps are all burnt out. So it's dark as hell and you can't see nothing. It's not the safest thing. And we're on these wet steps. We're trying to head up. And it was kind of funny. I had a good laugh. So I finished a little bit of my cigar. It got rained on. So I was slowing. I was trying to hold the light and everything else up for her. So my cigar got rained on pretty good. But I did a little smoke part of it, chucked the rest of it away. It wasn't a big deal. Sat on the porch for a while while I was out of the rain and watched the fact that like there's a the way the roof slopes over it drains down there's gutters on most of the cabin but not right there and like, the water pours right on our stairs which is the dumbest thing when you're walking out all the rain's coming out the gutter or off the roof right onto your head so kind of laughed and joked to myself about the little bit of poor design on that one but had a great time um, Karen fell asleep on the couch for a little bit um, pretty much just came in I'm gonna grab myself some chips and wrap it up and call it at night so I will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching